Are you seeing this? These are one of our pakchong, napia grass. Eh? We are going to plant. Uh, this is some of them, but we are having a variety of seeds that you are going to plant for pastures, such that these animals, they really get what they need. Mm -hmm. If these animals go to the field, they eat each and everything, meaning they eat uh, the green that is useful to their body and that one that is not so much useful. But on zero grazing, we think for these animals. And we say that if they need proteins, this is the type of pasture that you have to plant. If they need... you're most welcome our dear farmers uh my fellow farmers i really appreciate you for the support that you always give to kim d construction and farm consultants please if you're new mind to tap that subscribe button and you join the family of kim d a uh, group of companies today as i have told you that uh, I, I have been come, uh, coming along telling you that we are going to start or we are going to make our 15 acre zero grazing goat sheep and cattle farm Many people have small chunks of land and they end up not doing that farming uh, activity because they think that you should be having many, many, many acres of land. So that is the reason why we are doing this demonstration farm for you to show each and everyone around the group that these things are really doable and everyone can do it. It is just consistency, persistence and your passion will create a difference in this. Are you seeing this? These are one of our pakchong, napia grass. Eh? We are going to plant. Uh, this is some of them, but we are having a variety of seeds that you are going to plant for pastures, such that these animals, they really get what they need. Mm -hmm. If these animals go to the field, they eat each and everything, meaning they eat uh, the green that is useful to their body and that one that is not so much useful. But on zero grazing, we think for these animals. And we say that if they need proteins, this is the type of pasture that you have to plant. If they need carbohydrates, this is the type of pasture that they, they have to, 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 we have to plant. If they need carbohydrates, we need corn. You see, those different, different uh, varieties of pastures, that is what we put, we, 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 we try to implement. So please, just keep following us each uh, each step because i told you that this farm we shall be hosting all of you those people who want to do uh farming those people want to do zero grazing what they have to do and eh? this is why we are putting much emphasis on these 15 acres uh we have a lot of land but we decided to at least get that portion and we show you because we have come on along are teaching people we have come all along doing these things to different farms but this time around we have decided we do a breeding farm that is typical zero grazing and instead of you people going to south africa going to kenya to buy the dopers to buy the the, the goats and other go to those who have been going to uh, brazil to buy the grillandos and all varieties of animals you'll be finding them here so please just watch us as we shall be uh, really showing you each and everything, each step, every step that we shall be taking. I'm very sure that you people, we can do this. And all people are having one acre, two acres, three acres, you can do a very nice farm that that person is having 100 acres who cannot implement such a very organized uh, venture. So we really strongly and inform you that these things are really doable and you can achieve it this is why we have decided to do it for you and to show you each and every step that you need to do such thing just keep in touch with us as we shall be showing you each and every step we shall be showing you how we shall be planting this and other varieties of pastures that these animals really will benefit from them I have, uh, we have shared uh, our videos about the pastures, about mixing, mixing of different feeds for these goats and cows. So please check out on our YouTube as you will be really learning a step by step 
and this farm we decided that we shall be sharing with you a step by step and you can do it in your area please you go to our, our website if you want to read uh, different things uh, that we put uh, our blog is really equipped with all that you need to do uh animal animal livestock farming yeah you see livestock farming that is the cattle goats yeah? and all other uh, other uh, those luminants you can also uh, research about our local birds eh? we are also keeping hens uh, chicken so please we can do this and i'm very sure that if you join me and you really uh, support me in this we can achieve this thank you very much uh thank you for always supporting kimdi construction and farm consultants limited and kimdi group of companies we really appreciate let us catch up in the next video i love you